Hey guys, so I'm gonna be taking you on a little tour today of Flamingo Crossings. I'm not gonna do a room tour or like apartment tour just yet because we're still trying to move things in and my room's low key a mess. You didn't see that? But I'm gonna just walk around, show you the different things. I haven't really seen everything just yet myself, but we'll go check it out together. So this is our bathroom. I'll just show you this part because it's not really a mess, but the toilet and the shower are in there. I have a whole wagon with my stuff in here still, but it's really nice. Um, I haven't decorated it too much, but there's enough space. There's cabinetry up there, um, four shelves. We live in a 2-2, two -two, so um, yeah, it's a lot of cabinet space. So this is like how the hallways are. Um, you come in, you have your key card, and then twist it to unlock it, you twist it to lock it. It's pretty simple. There's little areas to sit. There's also an elevator in every building, which is nice, but I have to be healthy, so I'm gonna take the stairs. So every building has like a little certain character. Ours is Bagheera. So they all are like assigned, so that one's a different one. But yeah, so they all have different little like characters assigned to them. So it's a little bit easier to tell like which area or which building is yours, I guess. I mean, not that it's not easy to be in with. So these over here are like the main buildings. This building right here is Apprentice Hall. And that's where you do like your onboarding. I believe your traditions is in here as well as like the cast ID. So you'd go in right over here and that's where you'll enter up the stairs. And then I'm not sure I remember which this one is called. Oh, the community center. So I'm not gonna talk in there because there's probably people trying to do stuff, but I'll take like a little tour around in there. This is like the little courtyard area. That's the apprentice hall. And then there's just stuff to do around here. So then over here, there's like some little hangout spots. Um, I believe there's a fireplace, but I haven't seen it be used. Um, but it's a nice little area to like sit around. I don't know how much I'll use it, but there's a little seating area over here. There's some games over here, I believe ping pong. And then over here, this is like the fitness area upstairs. And then some stuff downstairs is like pool. This over here is like another side of the complex over here, which I probably won't go to because I don't really want to walk over there. This is the pool area and there's movie screens. I think you can see, I don't know, if, there's two pools on each side. So there's one here and one here. So down there is more uh, complexes, more buildings. So there's quite a few. There's a lot of nice little chairs to sit around. On this side, I believe there's a TV screen and they play movies pretty often. Like I said, I will go into this building right here, which is, where is it? That's the fitness area up there. I'm not gonna go in just yet because I want to take you to the other parts of the complexes or complex. I will say, just a little tip on move-in day. So in that building over there, that's where you'll pick up like wagons to help you move in. I highly suggest getting a wagon to move in because it was awful not using one. I had to park really far away and it was really hard to move all my stuff timely. <laughs> I've literally, it took me two days to fully move everything, but it's nice to have. Uh, over here is like a little canopy area. I guess they do a lot of event events like back here um, and then like basketball court area. I haven't used any of that yet. There's also a volleyball court area, which is really cool. I don't know how much I'll use of it. I want to, hopefully I have some time to do that because I would love to go out and actually do stuff. Tonight, I believe they're doing a meet and greet with Goofy, which is pretty cool because I haven't seen a character in so long and I can't wait to just, I don't even know if we can hug them or anything. I think we just take a picture, but Either way, I'm excited to do that. There's a lot that goes on in this campus. Um, I will take you to the parking lot area. I did hear today, I believe that the, all the parking is filled, like all the parking passes are bought out. So I don't believe any new people are going to be able to get the parking passes, which is kind of annoying, I understand. But there's a lot of people, there's very little space. So this is, the sand pit for the volleyball court area. 
Um, and then this is where they'll do events as well. So they have them set up on both sides. This is just, I guess, another field area where they do things. So it's a really nice volleyball court. And then, like I said, this is where they do some of the events. Um, tonight, I think they're doing a meet and greet. And then this is just like the wide open field area. This is my building up here. Uh, it's got a very nice view. So this is all Bagheera. We don't have balconies. I know that kind of stinks because we did last year um, in the other complexes, but I will say it's not too bad. Uh, it definitely makes up for it. When I post my room tour, my apartment tour, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's a lot more updated. Sorry, there's like some noise going on in the background. Uh, but it, like I said, it's a lot more updated. So it's very nice. There's marble countertops, a deep sink for the kitchen. There's a dishwasher, brand new stove, brand new microwave. So it's actually really nice. It's a step up. I would take that over a balcony any day. So I'm not sure if there's another area to enter if you don't have a car. Uh, but I do know that, so right across from the community center in Apprentice Hall, there is a area for if you're coming in uh, and you don't have a car, like if you're Uber drop off or something like that, um, this area right over here is where you would come in. So there's a little scanner and you can scan in and the gates will open. Um, you could come in through there. This is also where you would sign in a guest. So you'll have to sign up but this is where you'll go and then you put in your information there should i think you sign up through email but this is where like the packages come um and then the pool is right back here so it's actually a really nice view you can see the monitor or the the screen of everything so so like I said, big packages will come here, the ones that don't fit in your mailbox. And I'll show you the mailbox on the bottom floor as well. All right, so I will take you into Apprentice Hall. I'm not going to talk in there just because there's people that are in study rooms and um, there are other people that are working. So I'm gonna be quiet while I'm in there. But um, this is where like the fitness center, like I said, where you wanna, if you have to pick up something from the service desk, the service desk is in here as well. So that's the seating areas. So if you wanna like sit down and relax, there's also computers over here um, if you need to work on homework or stuff like that. So this bottom floor over here is all the community center area. So there's little couches over here that you could sit in. There's study rooms over here, um, little like cornhole. Uh, I think that's shuffleboard, I'm not really sure. And then there's some like pool tables, ping pong tables, anything like that. And then a movie screen over here. And then I'll take you upstairs. Upstairs is where the gym is and it's actually really big. I plan on using it. I'll just do a brief walkthrough because I know people are probably working out and they don't want a camera on their face. So I'll just go through it really quick. So also, I believe, I don't know if it's every building or like every quad, I guess you would call it. Um, they do have grilling areas, some are bigger than others. So it's it's just like a little grill area. They have a grill here and some tables. Uh, we used it already and it's actually really nice to just sit out here and especially under the canopy because when it starts raining, it's miserable. There's also some hammocks to sit around. I believe they're around every building, if not almost all of them. Um, but this is where I go to get to the parking lot. There's also, if you go straight from Apprentice Hall, you can get to the parking lot as well. So if you're coming from that area, it's probably smarter to just go that way. But I cut through this way because it's quicker and more convenient for me. So it is a pretty big parking lot. There is quite a bit of space, as you can see, like it goes 
all the way back. Um, but on moving day, like I said, I would definitely get that wagon because, so this is the front of the complex over here. This is where that building that you see, that's where you'll come in. This area right here, that is where you will walk to to get to Apprentice Hall and everything. Um, I did, so this is all the parking. I did have to park all the way down where, I don't know if you could see it, but down where that truck is. <laughs> so it definitely was a bit of a hike, um, but with the wagon, like I said, it's, it's a lot easier. It's a lot more convenient. Um, make sure you drink water for sure. I definitely did not drink enough water when I was moving in. It is very hot here right now. It's very muggy and you will find yourself getting dehydrated way quicker than you would if you're up north. I'm coming from Connecticut, so it's a lot different weather. But as long as you're drinking water, make sure you have something to eat in the morning before you check in, um, just so that you're not <laughs> dying when you move in, because it is a lot of work. Um, you also will be running from your building to the Apprentice Hall, back to your building to move in more stuff, back to Apprentice Hall, because everything happens there. So it's definitely a little bit tiring so, to say the least but um, once you get to like finish all that stuff it's nice to just hang out in your apartment but like I said I will be doing a apartment tour uh, my apartment just is not ready for that right now we are still in the middle of like decorating everything it is very nice I will say I love how it's decorated we did a great job with it if I do say so myself but we definitely want to make sure that it's clean when we show it to you. And I might wait until my other roommate is here. He's coming this week, I believe. So I might put it off until then. I forgot to do an outro, but thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.